Okay, a subscriber asked me to show how I'm using this tool here. I got my little tape right here, and I want my measurements to be from here to here. And yes, I'm using a number two pen, a uh, pencil. I actually had a uh, this pencil. So be careful when you buy these. Uh, I think the people that sell them don't realize that they do dry out over time so I, I guess people just buy them I mean have them in stock and never change them out so when you get them I've only did two blocks with it and it's not working anymore but anyway uh this pencil um they say don't use on there but I actually when I make a mistake I use the eraser and raise it off so I'm sure to come out in the wash if it doesn't Oh, my seams are gonna gonna cover it my when I do it so see I make my little circles here cast circles and then I place on this on this circle here I place it and I kind of watch these ends right here these two also to kind of keep it going the same way but uh I started in this corner for whatever reason. I think just I just start in this corner and I do I do the two bottom halves first and see my little so it's just as simple. I mean this is I just use what I had. You, can, you probably can't see my line, but this one and this one here I'm using to make sure it's going. And that you have the equal amount down here. So, it's just whatever your preference. Like I said before, you can use a plate. You don't have to use this, but you will have to make sure that you um, be able to measure it out the distance you want between them. You know, you, you got to keep a consistent distance here. So... Um, so I got my little things here, and I just go probably until I feel like stopping. I call myself counting them at one time, so I usually do about six, about seven to eight of these before I swap over to the next. It just depends on how it looks. It's your quill. Do what you want. What makes you happy? Um, I am just using what I have. This is just showing you um, how you can use what you have and uh, don't have to go out and buy something. And I had this, like I said, and don't know what I bought it for, but it's serving this purpose right now. So I just go up to here and, um, right there and uh, I could do one more one more here keep going until I get them all did. I have a pile in there waiting. And when it gets to the point where I can't reach the end, I just kind of slide it down. Stick my pen back at the end of that pencil. Slide it down and bring it back out. Right here I have to do the same thing. But now start on this end here. Do the same thing. I just kind of add that point. I mean, line that point up. And I start. I'm just doing it this way. I think uh, some of them use 
Maybe I need something. When I had in mind was a Baptist fan, but this is actually took a, a life of his own, so I don't think I'd call it a Baptist fan. Uh, line that up. And sometimes that'll happen. You know, if you're happy with it, don't worry about it. Uh, name it yourself. You know, it don't have to be some of the quotes say, oh, it looks like a Baptist fan. And then they look in the middle and they'll be like, oh, okay. It wasn't consistent, so that makes it not a bad Baptist fan. So just keep laying the knees up. Now, when I get right in here, when I come to this, this one here, I'll start connecting them. I won't start going all the way to the bottom. I'll just connect them onto this line here. And I'll show you that in a minute. I'm almost there. These lines, I can see they're not really heavy. You see, I can see them. Um, as long as I can see them when I get ready to sew them. And I guess since uh, someone asked me to do this, I might as well show you how I sew it. Because, you know, somebody may come back and say, well, after you do that, how do you sew it? You just stitch on the line, but I will show you. See how this is meeting right here? So now my next one will meet up here somewhere. I'll show you that. This is how I'm using this tool. Um, this is how it works for me. I had to find my line right here. And uh, I'll start here. So see, I don't need it all the way down. I'll start here. And there's my line. See, it's connected on that one. And I'll probably do one more here. Start it right here, connecting it. And go all the way. And be careful, don't don't uh, tear up your stitching that you did on your applique. Be careful with that. So that's how it looks right there. Now I'll start in that corner. And uh, it won't take long until I'll be connecting them to this here. Just make a little mark. I can even see it on this gray. And it's, you know, of course the lead is uh, gray. It's kind of, um, you kind of got to guess when you don't, not able to use uh, these right here. So, kind of got to guess. That's my little line. And Keep going here. Skip over. I kind of skip over my stitches. I mean, you know, once you start sewing, you'll get that. Now I'm going to use, start using my, my lines there. Right here where I got this and a lot of the stitching, I kind of just mark over it just so I can see it just a little bit very lightly because I don't want to tear my stitches there I worked hard on that so you see I got a little bit and I can follow that line you see I'm already coming up to this right here where I started connecting and I hadn't did that many so you know one end is going to be narrower than the other one and some of my blocks have sashing on 
on both sides. So with that, I it's kind of hard for me. I ain't trying to do no math. I'm just making it look good for me. And I'm actually proud of myself, what I did with it. So I love it. See how it's connected. So I'll probably do one more over here. Line them up. Line up my. Do one more here. And I know you're going to ask me, well, show us what you do in the middle. So I'm going to finish this block out. Like to see everything on this block. I'm gonna go to this end now and then I'll just go back and start filling it in in the middle which won't take you long actually this process is going a lot faster than I thought um, takes no time to sew it down That's my grandson. He's over there watching TV. And I got a loud house. I got a hold here. Dogs, the baby, the whole nine. Everybody's quiet till you pick up the your phone. But this is. And as you see, I'm going to start running into this side here. So still get my, get everything lined up here. I'm quite sure somebody else would have said, uh, you do it this way. Yeah, you can get it consistent. Well, it ain't going to be consistent for me. I'm gonna start to connect here already on that. And I'll start connecting right here. I can get my pen off down there and put some pencil off down there. You have to kind of push this down cause, so you can get it, the pencil off down in there. Sometimes you'll miss it, like here. And I'll just come back and trace it. My daughter's standing there, so I'm kind of at an angle. But I just come back and put it, kind of join it together there. So I can follow along. Looks like I'm gonna start. It's gonna meet right there. I'm having a hard time getting that pen off, pencil off in there to touch the fabric. My lid may be getting low. See, it's connecting right there. Now it's gonna start doing in here. And it really don't matter where I start on this, just as long as I'm bringing it all the way. Get a little bit in my light. Okay. Well, I'm gonna destroy the world with my magic wand that makes things heavy. Heavy! Now you see right here. Your phone is heavy. started connecting. So well, now I can continue to go okay. here. Well, I can flip it back over here, which I think I will. It's just your preference, whatever you want to do uh, to cover up, let's see, to make it join in the middle. It's so whatever you want to do here. 
kind of look at the the half half a circle. See now this is. I see. I'm start closing this up. This is open right here, and I'm gonna start closing it up. So I'm gonna flip it back around. me. <laughs> I didn't see where that was. It actually stopped me itself. The seam did. See that's right there. Now I'm gonna flop it around here. I want to close this in. You see how the difference in this? So I want to close this in a little bit more. And I probably won't get let me see. Can you move up a little bit? I can't see my line. I see where's my line? Right here. Couldn't see that. So I wanna get this one. system here so you ain't got no Let's see what's going on right here it's about as close as I'm gonna get it You can see it. I can see it. So now all I got is this right here. So what I would do, because this, I would just come right here, put it down, and keep it. That will keep it from. Probably can't see these lines as good as I can, but this is where it was shut off. And that's how I do it with this tool here, and that's what you come get. So I am going to finish these up, and then when I get to stitching them down and you see I got my matting already get to stitching them down I will bring you back to that Bye.